Hello, hi, hey, it's your good friend J. Scott Jewel. Uh, welcome back to the playthrough of Ironcast. Uh, I still really like it, so I'm just gonna continue the game we started in that other episode and see where we go. Um, so I'm producing a ton of coolant and getting a ton of XP right now, and I have the ability to gather scrap instantly. Uh, so we've got a survival mission, which I don't usually like. Uh, battle, okay. Uh, collection I like quite a bit, uh, because basically these crates that they have you pick up uh, act as wild cards, and uh, that makes long chains much easier to match. Uh, and plus it's got a good scrap reward, so let's go for it. And it looks like we are up against the steam tank. Possibly more than one. Well, I guess we don't actually have to defeat any of them if we don't want to. Uh, it's sort of like a pseudo-survival. Basically, there will be crates that will show up on the board. Um, once we get 12 of them, the mission is over and we've succeeded. So... I think first things first, I'll get this ammo and energy combo. Uh, and then I essentially just want to clear off the board here to make way for better matches later. The opening turn's always a little bit pointless. Uh, I mean, not pointless, it's good to get your shields up and stuff. All the fun shooty bits happen next turn. Shields up. Forward. And then I didn't get enough energy to activate my bonus, so I'll just leave it there. Ugh. Two direct hits, uh, but my hull didn't take a lot of damage, thanks to that resilience ability. And over here on my turn, it uh, looks like I'll just... Him with the light cannon, although I should try and take out his drives. Uh, basically, if I get enough hits there, it'll take him down to a 0% evasion chance. Uh, and that'll also mean even if he can bring him back up later, he'll still have to spend energy to rebuild his drives again uh, to get all three pellets up. Uh, so let's pick up some more ammo make sure we can get his drives completely taken out. Yeah. And then we'll do a big coolant sweep. See if I can get a better angle on. I've got an opportunity here for a really big chain of energy. Uh, go that way. Nice heap of XP, and I'll clear the scrap just so you know maybe it'll pop again this mission. Probably not, but you never know. Open. He just doesn't rebuild his drives. As again, even though I don't need to take any uh, enemies out to complete the mission, I uh, still get extra XP and scrap for defeating enemies. And I uh, also get additional turns. Every time I defeat an enemy, I get another match chance in this turn. So, never really a bad idea to take them out if you can. And I just got those weapons upgraded last time, so might as well make use of them. Hey, and there we got another uh, steam tank. But because it hasn't had a turn yet, it hasn't raised its drives yet, so I get a bit of an opportunity to take them out early. energy. I uh, 
could grab repair, but I think I'm gonna go for coolant. Grab that crate. And I only need one more crate, but there's not one more crate on the board for me. Uh, so I'll just try for a big repair chain here and leave it at that. Hopefully pick up some of this scrap next turn. shields back up. I don't want to give him an easy opportunity for damage against us if we can help it. Ooh! Yeah, no shots fired against us at all. Uh, so I could end the turn and end the whole mission right now by picking up all this energy in that crate. Um, but I'm gonna sweep through and pick up some of this ammo instead uh, to try and clear out some more of the board and just get, you know, the last little drops of XP we can possibly get out of it. Uh, pick up this extra scrap and then I'll make one final match with all of this energy here. Uh, no reason not to pick up the overdrive node while we're at it. And there we go, mission over. Mission success. There we go, leveled up. And like I say, that happens more or less every mission. It's not until much, much later missions that you start not getting a level at the end of the mission. Uh, some new drives. Build them. I want to save up scrap to improve my base stats. Yeah, because that drive gives me a max of 21 and I have 15 right now, so... 6% improvement isn't really worth the scrap investment. Everything else is okay though. Ah, but here in the iron cast upgrades you can pay a little bit of scrap to get your full armor upgraded or... Uh, make your maximum on the ammo and energy and coolant. Uh, you can increase all of those. I usually like to do uh, a couple of upgrades for the energy capacitor. Um, you know, even getting just one more will make it so I can uh, put my shields up twice in the same turn. And for upgrades, we can get an additional shot, uh, which just means that next weapon we fire fires twice. Um, or in the case of like my light cannon, you know, it fires five times or so every round, and this would make it fire six times. Uh, automatic 5% chance to overdrive is okay, but not great. And uh, reducing the opponent's shield strength by half for a turn actually ends up being pretty good. Uh, especially in the later missions, you'll come across a lot of enemies that have ridiculously high shields that you have to punch through. And obviously cutting those in half will help quite a bit. Uh, challenging survival, no thank you. Uh, usually, that's kind of the exception to the rule with the challenging missions. Where, uh, because it's survival, they just keep trying to hammer you and hammer you. And essentially if you don't, uh, basically no matter how much Skype you pick up, you end up wasting it all on repairing your hull after the mission. So no thanks. Uh, salvage I don't usually like either. Um, so those are the ones where you're not allowed to deal damage to a certain system. Like in this case, his armor is what I wouldn't be allowed to touch. Uh, and most of the weapons I like to use have splash damage, which makes those pretty hard. Now eh, we can do another collection one. Collection is fun. Well, I've never read the story on this one about having to steal from our own people. Uh, Difficult times. Oh, so they are just stealing from some random warehouse in Britain somewhere. And then paying him back later. Uh, and of course there's a French iron cast here for no reason at all. Um, but, you know, to give us something to do. And in later missions after I'm all, you know, fully upgraded out and don't need the XP, I would probably do this in 
two separate matches just to get, uh, you know, two full ammo bars out of it. Uh, but especially since this is the first turn and I can't fire my weapons anyway to use up that ammo, I might as well just uh, gather it all up. Um, and here I could make a chain that goes through that link node to uh, pick up all of the energy all at once for similar reasons. But since it's two clumps of six, I'd actually rather keep it separate. So I'll go down for pair instead. Use up all the energy I can. Okay, and then go through and pick up some more. Nice big chain. Bunch of extra XP. Uh, so I can put up my shields and my drives twice. And that should put us in a pretty good spot. Stuff like this is why I usually end up with a pretty aggressive strategy overall, because uh, most of the time my defense is well taken care of on turn one, so you might as well go offense for the other turns. Uh, and we can cut a shield in half, and try to batter it down with the shock coils here. That'll do five shots, but losing 13 each, yeah, that's still like half damage, so that's the better option for us. Okay. Both of these next ones hit, we should be good. There we go, and we've got plenty of ammo to continue the assault. So pick it up and go to work. Okay, and his movement's down also. Um, depending on what shows up here, I might be able to get him uh, knock down one of his weapons. But it looks like I'm mostly going to be managing my defense, uh, which is fine. I usually end up forgetting about it and neglecting it anyway. So. Good to be reminded. And I'll pick up that scrap. And again, this is a collection mission, so I really don't need to be taking out enemies, but, uh, you know, if they're going to keep presenting me with opportunities like this, I might as well. Uh, so, do a big sweep up through all these crates. Take out <laughs> more than half of the mission requirements right there. Uh, and then I can go through, pick up some ammo to finish taking this guy out. They very kindly provided us with more than enough crates to finish the mission on a huge chain of repair. That's very good. Not even sure we took damage. Uh, and this guy I'm not even going to bother trying to tangle with. Yeah, give up a little bit of energy and then for the last move. See how much repair I can pick up. Yeah, because an extra 2,800 XP on this match alone is going to be pretty good. There we go. And that should be enough to get us another level. Yeah, almost two. New energy lance, that could be a good replacement for our shock coils, and uh, uh, standard shields are okay. A little bit cheaper on energy, which is nice. Okay, yeah. 65 damage to repair, uh, and then yeah, we'll pick up that sh uh, energy lance, rather. Just so we can punch through shields even more effectively. Uh, so basically, we have the one weapon here for doing, you know, primary damage to a system once their shields are down, and then we've got the energy lance here 
uh, basically doing a bunch of damage in one shot, specifically to pierce through shields. And for the level up reward, uh, <laughs> could make it so I'm 10% better at getting scrap from matching. Um, uh, the energy exchange is okay. There's another version of this I like better that does the uh, the opposite and replaces all repair nodes with energy nodes. Um, and that's very good at the beginning of a round to get uh, just insanely huge matches. Um, and scrambling enemy repair, I just have never cared about. Because um, usually when the enemy's repairing, it's because I've knocked out a system completely and any amount of repair is enough to get it back up and running for them. Um, so... You know, if it doesn't prevent them from repairing entirely, then it doesn't really do me any good. So that said, I think I'm still going to go with the energy exchange, uh, just because that will enable me to get uh, really big matches, even if they're not for energy. Uh, it'll get me extra XP, so we'll take that. Uh, and I think based on that, I'm going to call it an episode. Uh, but... I will see you again here next time for episode 3.